Hiya folks, it's Sam here from Climbing Academy. In this video, Will is going to show us a method for abseiling or rappelling for the Americans watching down past the knot in the rope. Why do you need to know this? Well, if your rope becomes damaged while you're out climbing, you're probably still going to need to use it to get off the crag. Or maybe in an emergency, you might decide to tie both of your ropes together and do one giant abseil down to the floor. So you're going to have to pass a knot on the way down. First, isolate the damaged section of the rope with an overhand knot. Now because we know there's a knot to pass, we're going to prepare for it and set up in a slightly different way to a regular abseil. Load the abseil device and clip it directly to the harness. Now make yourself a cow's tail with a knot in it around a third of the way down the sleigh. This French Prusik needs to be really neat. It's going to hold all your weight, but then it also needs to be able to release under load. You can test this to a point by pulling it backwards and forwards on the rope but just seeing how bitey it is. This then clips directly to the cow's tail, so it's on the rope above the abseil device. Ensure that once weighted the prosic remains within reach. If it's too far away, adjust the position of the knot on your cow's tail. So as you move downward, keep an eye out for the approaching knot. If you abseil right up onto it, you've got problems straight away. So you want the prosic to be taking all the weight and not slipping while you're still 30 or 40 centimeters above the knot. Once the prosic is holding nicely, pop in a clove hitch about a meter, meter and a half below. This acts as a fail safe, so if we totally mess everything up in the next stages, we're still ultimately attached to the rope. Next, you can move the belay device from above the knot and replace it below the knot. Once that's on, a second French Prusik goes on below the abseil device. This is going to be our backup for the rest of the abseil. Clip this onto a leg loop and that should keep it away from the abseil device. On it goes, lovely. At this point you can now release that top prusik. If it's really tight you can use both hands to pull it down. This is then going to load the new setup we've just put on, which is below the knot. The top prusset can then be taken off because we don't need it anymore, and you can also remove the cow's tail if you want. Before carrying on down to the bottom, remember to remove the backup clove hitch. It's really annoying if you abseil onto it. Now it definitely takes a few goes at working out setting up the prusik correctly, so we'd recommend practicing this at a friendly place, probably on slabs to begin with, before upgrading to overhanging terrain, just so you can get an idea of how awkward it can be. You could also get your buddy to have you safe on a separate rope while you're making all those learning mistakes. So that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful, leave any comments below. Subscribe to the channel, we're going to be making a full series of these videos. Find us over on Instagram at Climbing Academy and give us a follow to help us with our tree planting campaign that we're super excited about at the moment. Alright, that's it. Thanks a lot. Bye.